Hello, everyone. Well, if you're listening to this, you must have operated that time machine successfully. Well done. But maybe you got lost en route. If you did, let me know where you got to. Anyway, you're here safely now in Jerusalem in the year 33 AD. I know it looks a bit quiet from a distance, but actually this place is heaving. I think half the country must have turned out. You see, it's time for the festival of the Passover and all the Jewish people are coming here to the capital city to celebrate. It's very exciting. But you know, they're even more excited than normal because they've heard the news that someone is coming. Can you guess who? That's right, it's Jesus. Should we go see? So here's Jesus with some of his friends. They've been traveling around the country now for about three years. He's got 12 special friends. They're called his disciples, which means they've been learning from him. Everywhere he goes, he tells wonderful stories and does amazing things. And so the crowd is so excited to see him. They're excited for many reasons. Some are excited because they think he's going to be the new king. You see, at the moment, the Jewish people don't have their own king. They're ruled over by the Romans and they don't like that. But when they celebrate the festival of the Passover every year, they remember how long ago God saved them from being slaves in Egypt. And so many of them are now wondering if Jesus will save them from the Romans. Will he be their new king? I wonder. Anyway, before we tell this story, we need to make some things. These are the props we usually use in school. Our palm branches and palm crosses, our sheet to dress Jesus up in, and of course, donkey. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't keep these things in my living room. I don't have any palm branches lying around, certainly. I bet you don't either. So maybe before we carry on, you could make your own palm branch. They're really easy to make. Just get some green paper or any paper really and cut out some of your handprints from the paper. Then stick your handprints together with a stick or something at the bottom or even just another bit of rolled up paper. And there you have it. Hey presto, a palm branch just for you to use. If you don't want to do that, you could just get something else to wave maybe a football scarf or something else, a flag perhaps. It doesn't matter what it is, just so you can join in the waving. So pause this video and go make a palm branch or find something to wave and join me back when you're done. So are you ready? Well, we're gonna tell the story of when Jesus came into Jerusalem. Now, normally when we do this in school, we get different people to play the different characters. But we can't do that together today, so you'll have to find a way to join in at home. Perhaps whenever I say the word donkey, you could make the sound of a donkey and do silly ears. Go on, give it a go. Go on. Well, maybe if you're feeling a bit silly being a donkey, you could at least be the crowd for me today. They have an important word to shout. Whenever it comes on your screen, you can wave your palm branch and shout the word. Can you remember what it is? Hosanna! That's right. Go on, you shout it. I can't hear you. Go on, louder. And don't forget to act out all of the different things that the people do in our story. Right, I think we're ready. It was the time of the Passover and Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem to celebrate the festival. But one day he asked his friends to do something rather strange. You know that village over there, he said. Go to that village and you'll find a donkey tied up. Untie it and bring it to me. If anyone asks you what you're doing, simply say the master needs it and he'll bring it back again. So Jesus's friends went 
and they found the donkey just as Jesus had said. They brought the donkey to Jesus and with his friends around him, Jesus rode into Jerusalem. The crowds were so excited to see him. They cut down branches from the trees. Go on, pretend to cut them down. And they waved them in the air. They also took off their cloaks and laid them on the ground to make like a red carpet for Jesus. And then they shouted, are you ready? They shouted, Hosanna! Go on louder, Hosanna! No, I think we can do better than that. Hosanna! Hosanna in the highest, they shouted. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So I've got a question for you. This is always my favourite bit in school when I get to hear your answers. Sadly, I can't hear them today, but we can still wonder. So I wonder, when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, do you think he was acting like a king? Hmm, I wonder. You know, that same day, someone else rode into Jerusalem in a procession, but it wasn't like Jesus's procession. It was the Roman governor. Let me show you. Look at his procession. The Roman governor has a horse and a chariot and fine robes. Even his horses have robes. And look, there are servants marching alongside. There's even a golden statue on his chariot. But now look at Jesus' procession. Does he look like a king? Would a king dress like him? Would a king ride on a donkey? Would a king hang out with those kinds of people? He doesn't seem to be a king, does he? But then would the crowds go wild if he was just ordinary? Would they create a cloak carpet? Would they wave branches and shout if he wasn't someone special? I don't think we can tell, can we, if he's a king at the moment. If he is a king, he's certainly a different kind of king. I'd love to see what you create if you can share it with me. And I'll see you next time and we'll find out what Jesus did next.